If you're watching this, it's because you want to know how to create an API with your newly deployed Tyke gateway. So the uh, regardless of how you deploy Tyke, um, realize that you can create an API in Tyke using the gateway APIs. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, we can check that our gateway is running. Uh, so I'm making a get API request to my laptop on port 8080, that's where my gateway um, is running. And then I want the hello endpoint, which is the, the health check endpoint that will return back the, the uh, information. You can see we get a status pass from the gateway. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create the API. Um, and you can simply get this payload from the actual documentation down below. Um, and uh, all we're doing is we're gonna create an API definition here uh, using the Tyke API. So uh, again, we're going to make an API request to our Tyke gateway. Uh, to the slash type slash APIs, uh, and then the uh, it's a post request. And so let's take a look at the API definition. Um, it's uh, you can see that the name of the API is Hello World. Here's the API ID. Uh, the slug uh, we can simply get rid of that. Well, use keyless. So we're setting this API to not be a protected API. Anybody can access it and Tyco will reverse proxy it. Uh, version data if we wanted to set it. Uh, we have to include this information. The proxy, so here, this is the listen path on the gateway, hello uh, hyphen world, that's gonna reverse proxy to our API, and here's our API, the target URL. Uh, we have an echo server uh, running somewhere. Uh, and of course, it's active. So um, the last thing that we need is we have to add the Tyke secret header. So in your Tyke configuration file, depending on how you run it, uh, ran it, you included a uh, secret, uh, rather in the type.conf uh, config file or in uh, via environment variable. Uh, and so we have to include that to authenticate our API creation against type. So the header name is X type and authorization, the value is foo. And if we fire that off, we get back a payload uh, uh, and then we get the key, which echoes back the ID of the API and it tells us that it's been added. Uh, and so, before we can actually access this, we have to reload the gateway. And so uh, we have to fire off another API call to reload it. So here we're making another API call to the gateway to the slash type slash reload endpoint, uh, also authenticating. And then we hit um, our, uh, we fire off our request. Uh, we can see uh, we get an okay back. And if we actually inspect the logs of the gateway, depending on how you run it, um, you will be able to see that you, you um, that it loaded it. So here you can see API loaded um, right here. Uh, Hello world is the is the ID. And so now we can go and make an API request. So uh, HTTP localhost 8080 and then uh, hello hyphen world is, is uh, the listen path. And then I want the get endpoint on my API. And if we fire that off, we, we get back a payload from our API server. And that's it, that's all we have to do. So using the Tyke APIs, we, we created an API definition, which uh, is which tells Tyke how to protect and reverse proxy to our API. Uh, so if you wanna see our documentation, you simply go to uh, our website uh, slash docs and then API references. And under the Tyke Gateway API, you can actually get a dynamic Swagger endpoint that you can, you can use and play with uh, to see all the different APIs. Thanks for watching.